Hey, First Assembly family. Thank you so much for joining us this past Sunday for our morning service. Here is a look at this week's sermon recap. We dove into week two of our Can I Get a Witness series, and Pastor Terry talked about impactful influencers. Our passage of the week was from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16, where Jesus describes us as salt and light. So first, let's go ahead and start with salt. We know that salt is a preservative. God actually made a salt covenant with his people in order to preserve them. We see this use of the term salt covenant in Leviticus chapter 2 and Numbers chapter 18 and 19. As salt preserves, we know this is symbolic because it's causing something to last. In many ways, we are that salt preserving our society, our culture. Salt also makes things taste great, but Jesus warns about salt losing its savor. Losing its savor is also translated from one Greek word, morano. This is where we get the word foolish or moron. So if we're the salt and we lose our savor or we become foolish, then it's going to be hard to influence anybody. So how does salt become bad then? Well, we know that pure salt can actually never lose its saltiness. So the only way that salt can actually lose its saltiness is if it's mixed with impurities. And the way that we stay pure is remaining close to Jesus and in his word. That was salt. Now let's talk about light real quick. Jesus says he is the light of the world, but he also says you are the light of the world and says, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light. But therefore, when he leaves, you are the light of the world. Our world continues to get darker and darker and darker. And the only way it's going to get any lighter is if we let our light shine. So think about those two elements for a second, salt and light. Salt works subtly and gradually, while light works almost immediately. You walk into a dark room, you flip the lights on, immediately the light is shown. Let's be both of those things salt that preserves and light that shines. Thank you once again for joining us this past Sunday. Please join us this Sunday as we continue with week three of our Can I Get a Witness series. Have a great rest of your week, First Assembly family.